Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! I'm YouTube famous now. I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. So, <clears throat> I've been sitting around today watching all this royal wedding madness go down, which basically is just, let us shove it in your face how lucky we have it and you don't. <laughs> As if I needed to feel any worse about myself. And I thought to myself, if I wanted to be closer to a royal family, what would I do? If I wanted to be, you know, I'm American, so if I wanted to be like this Meghan Markle's family, Princess Meghan now, I guess she is. If I wanted to be like this Meghan Markle's family, what would I be doing today? Well, since she basically disowned her whole family, is that what you do? Like, if, if you can get rid of your family by becoming a part of the royal family, is that what you do? Because my family is a bunch of fools. So if all I have to do is marry a royal, that's what I'm doing. So I thought, well, what, are her, what do you think her family is doing today? Because she disowned all of them. So uh, none of them were invited to the wedding. And uh, I thought, well, they're probably up in the Target shopping today. So I thought, you know what? I am going to, I, there's a bunch of things I have to buy. Everybody always asks me to do a favorites haul. So I'm going to go into Target and I'm going to buy all my things that are favorites. And I might point out, I'm a little nervous about taking the camera in there because I get noticed so much for being YouTube famous. But um, I'm going to take my camera inside. Mm, I just spit. <laughs> Whoo, I need some coffee now. I, uh, and uh, now, if I get noticed, then that's going to be a problem. That's why I have to wear the sunglasses. But I might point out some of my least favorites, too. So we're going to go into the... Uh, we're going to go into the Target. Oh, hold on a second. She's getting in her car. Oh, seriously. Oh, she's got to go through her bag first, too. Girl, I got things to do. I can't be waiting for her. Okay, so I got to get my wallet, get my phone. You got to have all that kind of stuff, right? So, hold on a second. Now, a little trick when you're YouTube famous, you gotta do, oh, sh now she decides she wanna move, okay. Just go ahead. Now I try to be real nice, see, girl, just go ahead, uh-huh. You didn't wanna go two seconds ago, but now you wanna go, okay. I'm waiting, girl, okay. She got a good rosary hanging down from right here. I better not show her in case she gets pissed at the world. She got a good rosary hanging down there to protect her from the world. Anyway, okay. Well, anyway, now when you're YouTube famous like me, you gotta, you gotta like really like get into the mood in case somebody, you know, somebody is like, I need a little extra today with that. Okay. All right, now I'm ready. Okay. Get my coffee. These people are wanting, and they can just wait a second. Hold on a second. All right. Sorry. I had to get ready. So, okay, I'm ready now. Let's go up into the YouTube. I need to put my camera in my other hand. See, this is why I'm not a vlogger of the world, but if you liked my vlogs, then um, go over to... There is some weave on the floor. Somebody pulled, there were, oh Lord, look at that. There was a fight in the Target parking lot and somebody got some weave. Okay, so this is the Super Target. This is where Meghan Markle's family shops at the Super Target because you can get all the super things here. Okay. Oh, look at that, they got a whole bunch of bananas. Right when you walk in, I need a cart. Let me tell you something, okay? First of all, this section right here, this dollar section, it's a trap. It's a trap. I don't even like bananas. Okay, so let's see where I need to go first. Well, let me get where I need to get and then I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm in the men's section. Now, let me just tell you, they have all kinds of cute little jean shorts here. Uh, not those, I think. Uh, can, you, can you imagine me in these? Let's just, <gasps> look, it's hot. It's so hot, wouldn't that be so hot? But um, no, they have all kinds of cute shorts here. I don't really, these are, the, these are, the, I love, y'all. So this is the problem with the Target section, okay? They don't like fat people. Target doesn't like fat people. But I am gonna get a pair of these shorts, cause, I have a pair at home, and they fit me. I don't even know how much they are, but I'm just gonna get them, because they're good, so anyway. Um, yeah, oh my God, wait till you see this t-shirt I found. Oh my God, look at this. Dad of the year. Should I get it? 
Now, you know, I said they don't like fat people. Do they have extra large? Oh, they do. They have extra large and 2XL. Yes, I'm getting that t-shirt. Okay. I'm basically doing all kinds of shopping right now. Okay. Then they got all this kind of stupid stuff like that. I don't know what this is. Junk. Just a bunch of junk. Their clear section, though, is... Oh, my God. They have Best Dad hat. Okay, they got all kinds of cute stuff in here. Okay, but like I'm looking for some what I really need today. So when I get to it, I'll be back. Okay, I'm in like the elf section, which is ginormous. And I got this lip exfoliator because everybody told me to. It's like $3 at Meyer, and it's like $4 here. I think it's total junk. It fell apart. I would never recommend buying it again. Except that here, that was plain. Here they have mint, sweet cherry, coconut, and grapefruit. So I'm gonna try it again because it's $4, but I still think it's absolute junk. I think their products, their packaging is gorgeous, but I think that the rest of it is junk. So I'm gonna get like mint and coconut, and we'll see. I'm not, I'm not convinced. For all of my lady friends out there, I'm in the condom section. So, you always wanna practice safer sex. I will tell you that all of my girlfriends, they take this home to their boyfriends and their husbands. Now, I have never used it, but this is the KY, uh, yours and mine. And for $14.99, my girlfriends love it. All of them, even my good Judy Tanya, she uses it. So go up in the Target, get your yours and mine for a night of romanticals. Last, I am at the pet food aisle. Now, I usually get pet food at like PetSmart and places like that because we have discounts. Um, but recently what's happened is because our dogs have such bad teeth, mush mouth is what our vet recall, calls it, um, we've had to feed them wet food. And I've literally tried every kind in the entire world. Now, let me just tell you, okay, these Caesar savories are not bad, but you have to feed them like, they're, they're so small that the dogs like literally eat it up right away. And if they have bad teeth, you have to kind of cut it up. So what we've been doing is we have been giving them, and these like there are some of them that they literally will not eat. The fancier they are, honest to God, like let me find one. Okay, like these, because I always get real excited. Oh, here they are. Here they are down here. I always get real excited, and I'm like, oh, ooh, look at this. Pee-pee, you're going to have a Sunday chicken dinner. And he gets real excited. I get real excited, but he gives like, I give a shit, right? We're like, oh, pee-pee, country chicken dinner. He's like, I don't care. Pee-pee, do you want to have a backyard barbecue? He's like, no, can you just get me the one that I like? So the one that he likes is this. <laughs> This is so silly. This Beneful, and we take two of them and we split them in thirds, and that's what they do. And that's the only one that they'll really eat. The only one they really like is the Benefuls. Or we get these little ones, and we give them each one of them. So out of all of this, that's the one that we feed them. So I don't know, if you guys have other suggestions, let me know. But these little petite eats and stuff like that, like especially Boo Radley that needs to be eating more, he doesn't like that, but I will tell you that this Crave right here, when we were feeding them um, hard food, has like really intense amounts of protein, 34% high protein, and dogs need a lot of protein. So that's one thing that you wanna look for when you look for dog food, and our vet told us that. So, all right, well, I'm gonna leave now. I have bought all the products that I'm gonna buy for my haul, and I will go home and show them to you guys. I'm so excited. Do I seriously need to even say anything? Okay, so if you don't know, meat in a can. Now they have spam. Are you ready for this? Spam light. Spam bacon. I put bacon in everything anymore. Milkshake. Disgusting. <sighs> I hate the words meat. I hate the words, you know, P with a U-S-S-Y. I hate the word um, pan, uh, slacks, blouse, panties. Juicy. Meaty. I hate them all used together, especially. I gotta get out of this place. I'm not feeling so royal. I am so ready to get home. This place depressed me today. These people in here, I have never met such bitter ass people in my entire Y'all are bitter. I've never met so many bitter ass people in my entire Bitter. Bitter. You thought that Drama Channel's done made videos about every single one of them. Excuse me, pedestrians. Anyway. I'm about to go home. True story, my ass crack is probably shown to the world right now. Anyway, I'm about to put my stuff in my car and the next time you see me, I'll be in front of that beautiful light. I love you guys. Okay, I'm back home and I have, oh my God, so, 
<laughs> so much stuff. Are you ready? For my super Target super haul. Okay. You guys, do you have any idea what I bought? Well, before we get into that. Oh my God. A reveal moment. Not on the Peter Mon channel. I love a good reveal moment. Like on RuPaul's Drag Race. That was basically my Roxy Andrews moment. So RuPaul, I'm waiting on the drama phone. Call me up. Okay. First, before we get into this, I need a sip of my coffee because... Shopping makes me thirsty. I mean, apparently I'm thirsty already if you read the gossip threads. Okay, let's get, whoo, it is hot up in here. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you guys the prices of all this stuff, okay, because I have the receipts. Whitney, where are the receipts? I have all the receipts right here. So I'm gonna tell you everything, how much everything costs, and we'll get into all that. Now this shirt, Dad of the Year, which you can get for your father for Father's Day, it's coming up, so you should go buy it for him. Uh, and they, Target has all kinds of Dad's Day, Father's Day, Dad's Day, we don't call it that, Father's Day stuff. This shirt was $9.99. Okay, so the first thing I got was, we run out of toothpaste like nobody's business. People comment on my husband's teeth all the time. Well, he takes his teeth very, very seriously. And um, he does the electric toothbrush and he uses it. I could take a lesson from all that, but anyway, so he doesn't care what we get as long as it has, like it says, like whitening factor in it. So um, they had Colgate Sparkling White Mint Zing, and it was in like a smaller container, but it was on sale for a dollar. So I got two of them because y'all know I'm a clearance queen. I like anything that is on sale. So I got two of them. Now I tried to show some of the things I don't like in the store, um, but I, maybe I'll do it. Would you guys like to see a whole video of like products I bought that I can't stand, like total junk? That's what maybe I should do next. So I tried to buy things that I actually need, but things that I really use too that I would like 100% stand behind. And let me just tell you, no, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting nothing for this. These are actually things that I needed or wanted. So, okay. Do you ever go up into the, uh, listen, do you ever go up into the Target or the Walmart? Where's my thing? Where are all my things I need? Do you ever go up into the Walmart or the Target? Or the Meyer, the Dollar Tree, and you go in for deodorant, and then you come out like $100 poor. That is my life every day of the week. Okay, so, I mean, not every day, or I'd be real poor, spending all my money up in the, the Target and the Walmart and don't nobody want all that. So, I went in for deodorant because I needed deodorant. I usually buy like three of them at a time because they're on sale. Like, you can get like two for cheaper than just one. And, um, but they didn't have that this time, and I bought, I always buy Old Spice. It's my favorite. So, if you want your man to smell good and smell clean, the Old Spice, and now I always get the antiperspirant and deodorant, um, so it has to be a deodorant that has both. Now, I will tell you, a lot of deodorants out there do not have both. So this is one, um, Old Spice actually has like four different scents that have both. So I get the Pure Sport High Endurance, that's what I wear, so if you wanna know what uh, I smell like when I'm sweating to the oldies, well then, you can go smell that. And that, I think, was $2.39. I usually kind of like, I, this is why, listen, I watched that Price is Right the other day. Whatever happened to that Janice that shows stuff on the prices? My, my grandma and I, she used to, she'd sit there and smoke Salem lights one after another, and something would come on, she'd go, 39 cents, and it would be 39 cents. And then they should say, 238, it'd be 230. I'd be like, Grandma, how do you know stuff? She's like, I go grocery shopping all the time. I watched that, that, uh, what do you call it, uh, Price is Right the other day. It is so sad these days. I not watch. First of all, they have male models on there now, okay? Equality, I guess. But the male model that they had on there was so foolish. And then, it's that Drew Carey hosting it, and he acts like he's so depressed that he can't get any kind of TV or movie role anymore. He's got to do The Price is Right. It's so depressing. The whole thing seems so staged to me. They don't have those huge stages anymore where they do the, the end of it, you know, the super prize, or what's that called? Prize of the Century or whatever. <gasps> Sale of the Century. I loved that show back in the day. My husband said to me, he goes, why is it every time I turn on the TV, you always have Game Show Network? Because it makes me so happy. I'm like one of those commercials on there. So anyway, the deodorant that I buy is, let's see where it is, Old Spice, $2.39. <gasps> Price is right, should have me on there all day long. Okay, so the next thing I got, people ask me my skincare regimen all the time. They're like, what do you use for your skin? And I know people go crazy because... I say I wash my face with soap and water. I have, like, for my entire life. And I've been very, very blessed that I don't have, like, horrible skin and I don't have acne. I just, it's genetic. 
So, you know, I know other people can't do that. I have recently been buying more, like, uh, what do you call it? Facial cleansers, facial washes to try them out. And I got one today, and we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, but for me, I usually, this is my skincare regimen. I drink a shit ton of water, you guys. Like, tons, okay? And, um... Then I take a shower, wash my face with soap and water, and then this has been the lotion that I have literally used for probably 20 years. And it is the Aveeno Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This is cheaper, okay? Like, this is a big bottle of it. At Target, it was $8.99, I think. Let me see. Um, at Walmart, it's like $12.99. So I couldn't believe that it was on sale. Um, Aveeno, $8.99. Price is right. So, um, and it, it smells so good, you guys. It smells like lavender and chamomile. Oh my God. But the smell is not so overpowering that like it'll destroy you. And um, it kind of, it's like a little, it goes on a little greasy, but dries like real quick. And um, I, I'm a total believer in this. I will not use any other lotion. Okay. So the next thing is, let's see. I'm so excited about this. Oh my God, I love to go Target shopping. People ask me a lot about my beard. So I trim my beard and I use a number two, uh, what do you call it, guard on it. But then I shave around here and down here, usually like every two days. Shaving cream, I have always used, always. Now I've tried others like Gillette and expensive ones and things like that. But, and you know, I will tell you one of my favorites that Alex got a sample of is the art of shaving. But really just because I like the smell of it, other than that, it, it doesn't do anything great. The cheapest one that you can buy that I love, so if, if you want to cut down on some costs and help you guys out, is Barbasol. And it's like, if you get, okay, at Walmart, I think it was $1.39. Let me see if I'm right. $1.49. I'm out. It was $1.49, but like at Meyer and Walmart, it's like $89.99. So you can get it for real cheap. It lasts forever. This also lasts forever. So, um, I mean, this right here will probably last me a month. But this Barbasol, I mean, like it's, I have used so many different kinds of shaving creams, gels, everything. It's my favorite. Okay. Are we having fun yet? Boost. All right. The next thing is, okay, so there was this, uh, well, let's go with these because I talked about these before. Now, everybody recommended to me these e.l.f. lip exfoliators because y'all know that I'm like obsessed with the lip scrubs. And I do have kind of a high-end haul coming up somewhere probably the beginning of June, end of May, something like that, where I, I went to some beauty stores. I went Lush. Y'all know it's my favorite. I ordered some things online. It's all sitting there in the kitchen. I'm so excited to like do that haul and show it to you guys. But somebody had recommended to me the lip exfoliators from e.l.f. They were $4 at Target today. They're $3 at Meyer and Walmart. Okay, here's my issue. So, I bought this, and if it's the same as the other one was, it has two, well, it's not, it's totally different. Maybe it is. But it has, like, two things on it. Hold on. No, this is totally different. So, this lip exfoliator, it has a lot on it for $4, and it's just a lip exfoliator. Oh, I like that. I mean, it's like a lip scrub, like, in a tube. And I will say, like, Mm, that's really nice, actually. That's really, really nice. Coconut. So, I mean, for $4, here was my thing, okay? I bought the one that comes in a skinny tube, and it was just plain. And then, I think it was vanilla. And then on the bottom, it had, like, if you, if you saw my video, my vlog, because I, I do a lot of stuff like hauls like this on my vlog. And I showed buying it, and on the bottom of it, it was like, uh, it was like a, what do you call it? Oh, I don't know. Like, a, anyway, it doesn't matter. But it was a different color, and it broke off really, really quick. And I was like, I paid $3 for this, and literally, like, the whole thing just broke in, like, a day. And it wasn't outside in the heat. It wasn't anything like that. I didn't do anything to it. And I was like, you know what? They're cheaper products, but you pay for what you get. I don't know. We'll see. I really like that, actually. Even as a chapstick, I kind of like that. It's grainy. So, here's the other one, which is called Mint Maniac, and I'll try that one, just because I want to be honest and tell you guys what I think. Why wouldn't I? Okay, let's try the Mint Maniac. Cute name, isn't it? Okay, so this one is, like, kind of green. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a beauty guru. I'm a beauty guru, aren't I, PP? Okay, so let's try this one. It's grainy, too. It tastes like you have toothpaste on your mouth. I probably would go with the coconut. I mean, it's not bad, but it tastes totally like toothpaste. And those were uh, $4 each. I'm almost positive. Mm, Elf. One was $3 and one was... Oh, no, no, no. 
Yeah, they were three dollars each. Oh, that's good. One ring in is a lip pencil. I don't know why. So they were three dollars each. Okay. Now, uh, a lot of people ask me about chapsticks, and I have some high-end chapsticks that I'm going to show in my next haul, because I was like, I've talked so much about chapsticks on here. You know, at the end of the day, honestly, like, a chapstick is a chapstick. I really do believe that. Um, but I bought some high-end ones. I don't want to say what they are yet, because I'm really excited about them. This video is going to be so long. But, um, you know, I have to be honest, and like... Paying $40 for a chapstick, you're totally paying for the packaging and what it looks like in the tube because it's really no different than a $3 chapstick in the like checkout aisle at Walmart. It really isn't. And these EOS, uh, the tubes, now I don't like the balls, the tube, I mean I like balls, but not, okay, I, ooh, hold on a second, anyway, mm. Okay, these are my favorites. I like these sticks. And if you're going to spend, I think these are like three bucks, three, something like that. Let's see. $4.49 for two, which I think is a really good buy. So it's like $2.50 a tube. They last forever, you guys. I mean, they're so, they go on. This is how much you get in a tube. I mean, it just keeps on going forever. So I'm not going to put it all the way up because then it'll just plop out. But you get so much and it's so smooth. And honest to God, I mean, in comparison to the ones I bought, $250 compared to $40, that's, I mean, come on now. You're basically buying for the package. Okay, the next thing I got was, okay, these are all new things that I wanted. So let me show you those at the end. Um, so y'all saw at the beginning when I was shopping in the guys section, I love the clothing section at Target, okay? And I don't know much about the women's section, but I will tell you this, the men's section does not play. It is so cute. It looks like penguin stuff that they have at other stores like Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack because I love Nordstrom Rack so much. I mean, it is like in that sax on the 5th or whatever it's called, you know, those clearance. They, oh my God, the shoe section at Nordstrom Rack. But anyway, Target is like, has the cutest stuff. I mean, it really, really does. And I ended up getting these shorts. Good size 38, because listen, big girls doing big things. Okay, but what I will tell you, and they're called slim shorts, but I'll tell you what I love about this. They're stretch, they stretch. Oh, it sounded like I ripped it, but I didn't. Do you see that? They stretch. And um, it's, it says total flex, and it's fantastic. And they fit perfectly. They fit up in my waist. They're not like low, which if you're a little bigger, you know. Okay, so for your guys out there, I would buy these and you can buy their exact like their exact waist size even maybe like a size lower um and i wear the i i have them on today true story of the world look Woo. okay so let's get in the, there we go okay a little leg all right let's see the next thing that i bought that i um always love okay so i usually buy these at like walmart or dollar general true story but we are out of q-tips so I mean, and I am somebody that cleans my ears every day. I'm kind of fanatical about it. So I don't ever buy name brand because you're paying like $2 more. And I actually looked, and I think these were three something. Hold on a second, let me look. Um, up swabs, $3.79 for 750 Q-tips, okay? So 750 Q-tips times four a day, because Alex and I each use one in each year. I don't know how much that is. I ain't got my glasses on, I can't do math. But it's a lot, okay? So this will last us a couple months. And, um, you know, it's like five something for like a half the size for like the Q-tip brand. So I don't ever do that. Okay. The next thing is, okay, this is a recent buy and I'm trying not to eat a lot of candy. So I'm gonna, I bought these, but I'm gonna give them to my good friend, Ju uh, my good Judy Tanya, cause she loves Swedish fish. But Swedish Fish now has mini tropicals, okay? And when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, like I wanna try them, but I can't because I'm a vegetarian and you know, all that. So anyway, um, if you don't know about that, go Google it because they've let me have it. They've let me have it about the gelatin and all that. Okay, so I'm gonna give this to my good Judy Tanya or Alex, you might wanna try them, but it's tropical mini, oh my God, okay. So then, my husband's favorite candy in the entire world, I wanted to surprise him. My husband's favorite candy in the entire world is um, Sour Patch Kids, but he just bought a huge bag of it. So I got him his second favorite candy in the entire world, which is Jolly Ranchers Crunch and Chews. And you can't find them everywhere, so I got him a huge bag of it because he loves to just sit there and watch TV and chew them and drive me crazy. He loves them. Does that drive you crazy when your husband sits right there or your girlfriend or whatever? And like, <laughs> or a bag of chips. Ah! Especially up in the movie theater. Shut up! I'm trying to watch my movie. So anyway, I got those. Okay. And then, um, okay, this is something new I bought. I 
am obsessed with any kind of Neutrogena rain bath body gel. And this lasts forever. Now, I will tell you, it's kind of pricey. I think it's $9.99. $9.99? Price is right. Now, I have the, uh, the original one. This is pomegranate rejuvenating shower and bath gel. And I smelled all of them when they were there. There's like five different kinds. I don't know. Part of it is my dad and my stepmom have used this forever and ever and ever. It smells so good. Um, and... You don't need a whole lot. It is like, it makes you compared to like other shower gels. Like I don't like the shower gels that make me feel like either chemical smell or super like perfumey smell. This one, you, you legit smell super, super clean on it. So, and it lasts forever. This will easily last a month. Okay. Now I bought some new things. I wanted to try some new things out and I'm real excited about this. Do I have other bags? Oh, oh my lord, I have a whole other, I have a whole other bag over here. Okay. Oh, okay, well we'll show those at the end. <laughs> we'll show the things I want to try first. So there's this whole new brand there. I don't know, maybe it's not new, but they had it displayed like it was new, and it's called Bliss. And I had never heard of it before, and I love the packaging. Here's the packaging. It's like blue and yellow. It was real like plain but clean. And um so I just went through a couple of their things and I tried, I got some things I wanted to try. So I'm going to show you. This one is called In the Honey Mega Moisturizing Lavender Honey Mask. Now I will tell you about these products. They were super expensive. I mean, for Target, they were expensive. This one I think was $14.99. Um, hold on a second. Let me see. Bliss. Yeah, this was $12.99. $12 and I got two of these. I got this one, and then I've been wanting to try an overnight night mask. So I got, it's called What a Melon Reviving and Distressing Overnight Night Mask. And uh, yeah, and this was $12.99 too. So, and this is what it looks, this ring light is for shit. Okay, let me smell it though. Oh, it's got, I mean, it's really nice packaging. Oh, oh, that is nice. It smells like, it kind of smells if you've ever had the pink drink, at, I got it all over my hand. If you've ever had the pink drink, uh, the pinkity drinkity, as James Charles calls it, at uh, Starbucks, that's what it smells like, exactly. So I'll be happy with that. I'll give me a pink drink and put that mask on. And then let's hear this. Uh, I love anything honey. So let's try this honey one, this honey mask. And this is supposed to be more of like a clay mat. Oh, no, it's not. Mm. I don't know. It smells kind of like hair product to me. I don't love that. Ugh, I don't know that I love that at all, but I'll try it. I mean, girl, you paid $12.99 for it. Now I know how you women go broke, okay, buying all the shit you don't want. Now, y'all know I love the lip scrubs, okay? So they have this fabu lips. I mean, who doesn't want some fabu lips? Sugar Lip Scrub and Polish by Bliss. Here's the packaging, pink and blue. Two of my favorite colors. And, of course, now I will tell you, I think this was like $15.99. Um, hold on a second. No, this was $12.99 too. And in comparison to other lip scrubs I've recently bought, this is pretty pricey, okay, for being up in the Target. Now, I'm going to try some of it. This is what it looks like. It actually looks really smooth when you get it. It's plain. I mean, it, 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 it's not worth it. I wouldn't buy it again. It's my least favorite of all of them I've tried. It's not fun. <laughs> she ain't no fun. Girl, you ain't no fun! Waste of money. Anyway, I'll give it to somebody as a gift. They'll be like, why is there a scoop out of it? Just don't ask no questions, okay? And then I got these Makeup Melt Bliss Oil, because I am obsessed with these for cleaning my face. I do do that at the end of every night before I wash my face with soap and water. So let's try her out, okay? And, um... <laughs> oh, it smells really good. Oh, I love how that smells, actually. This is probably, honestly, and I think they were $5.99, one of my favorites that I've ever used. Oh, yeah. The smell is, like, clean but not perfumey. I really, really like this. So, yeah, I would totally buy those again. Um, and they, Bliss. Okay. Oh, and I like that. You don't have to keep the thing on. You just put it in re-sticks. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Ooh, it feels so refreshing. Okay, the next thing I got was this Burt Bees Conditioning Lip Scrub. Now, I've been trying all the lip scrubs. I should just do a whole video on my favorite lip scrubs. Nobody would watch it, but anyway. I love Burt Bees products. I always have. Here it is. So, of course, it's going to be honey because that's everything that they do is honey. So let's try this one. This is a lip scrub again. Put a little bit on. 
My lips are gonna be so fine after this video, oh my God. Mmm, that is nice. If you like honey, that is literally straight up honey. I mean, it tastes like I literally just, it's, it's got the coarse things in it, but I just, it look, conditioning lip scrub with honey crystals. I mean, it feels like, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that on. That feels like I just put honey on my lips. Like, that is so nice. That is probably one of my favorite lip scrubs of life so far. How much did that cost? $8.99. That's probably one of my favorites so far. Okay. Mm. And the last, I have to take it off because of the next thing. So, I've done a lot of lip plumpers. Y'all know I'm obsessed with the lip plumpers. Pillow Plump is my favorite. I've got to hurry through this thing. Pillow Plump is my favorite. I'm obsessed with it. Um, sexy Mother Pucker. They have it, the whole thing, and I love the packaging and everything. It's lower end. You can get it up in the Target. This is called Clairvoyant. Now, I um, have this before, but they repackage this, a different package. The one I have is metal, like a, looks like metallic, and this is black. And um, this is the 7X, the extra, extra, I said 7XX. <laughs> I got the last one, I can't do that. This is the extra, extra large lip plumper. Now, I only really like the lip plumper that tangles. <laughs> you guys are like, Peter, this is the most foolish video. So, mm, I can already smell it, that it's going to make my lips tingle. So, it's very thick. I really, really like it. <laughs> I, do you guys know what Three's companies are? Three's, you know when they would walk in the room and Jack and like, you know, they, she, he'd be saying something, they'd walk in, they'd think it meant something else. Like, that's a Three's company. There are so many Three's companies. I like it thick. So anyway, I like it when it goes on <laughs> thick and stays on and doesn't like come off easily and this does. And it's very much more of like a lip gloss too. It's nice. I like it. Okay. So I would definitely buy that again. And then I only have a few other things. Now, I'm juicing today, like I said. I am like killing for buying all kinds of these juicy and like pre-bottled juices. I have done the fat, sick, and nearly dead green juice for many months one time. Um, I really, really believe in that. But I wanted to buy something cheap and easy today. I have bought a lot of these, you guys. And my favorites are the Suja ones. Mighty Dozen. They're three, I think they're $3.59 um, for the juicing if you want to juice for a day. It's like really healthy for you. They're $3.49. This is the Suja uh, Mighty Dozen Organic, and I got two of those, and then I got another one, and that is the Vibrant Probiotic. I haven't ever tried that one before. And then the last thing I wanted to, I wanted to try something different. Now, I love those, uh, I think they're called Bayi or Bi product or Bi drinks, and, but this is sparkling and accident infusion, and I love the bottle because it's black. Have you guys tried those new Diet Cokes that are in thin bottles, and they have like, um, like orange blood or blood orange. They are so good, you guys. If you have not tried them, you have to try them. They are so good. But this, I want to try. I'm so excited. You guys want me to try it right now? Okay. I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. I mean, she's okay. She's kind of like a flavored Perrier. <laughs> I would, a Perrier. I wouldn't probably buy her again. But the, the can's cute. Did you ever do that? I mean, the can's cute. So anyway, those are all my purchases up in the Target. I had so much fun doing this. Let me know what some of your favorites are in the comment section below. If you have tried these products, what you thought. Like always, I'm going to be honest about the products I bought. Why wouldn't I? I mean, like, come on. I'm a booty guru of the world. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.